One of the forms of steel production is by scrap, since this form of production reduces energy consumption during production by 70%. Another of the ways in which steel can help reduce energy costs is the use of these in the structures of sustainable and ecological energy industries. Due to the large properties and characteristics that this press in one energy, we can find it in the structures of wind turbines where for every 150 tons of steel, 1,638 kilowatts of energy are produced. In solar energy, we find it in the frame and support of solar panels, where for every 40 tons of steel, 1,000 kilowatts of energy are produced. The use of steel in this and other energy industries generates a circle of energy feedback, both in the sectors outside the steel industry, like hospitals, cities, schools, etc and in the same industry, like in cafeterias, common areas, bathrooms, etc. This feedback is what allows a reduction of energy consumption by the steel industry. Hi, um, my name is Kevin Fuentes. I am a materials engineer. Um, I am right now, or currently I am working as a process engineer in a secondary steel making process. Do you think there has been a change in either an increase or decrease in the use of recycled steel and or the renewable energy? It has been increasing uh, every year. The opportunity of use uh, the, the raw material as iron ore obviously has decreased. So the usage of metallic scrap has been increased the last the last couple of years um, and well so that's why uh, everybody said that that the siderurgical industry is a green green industry thinking about the future using a fossil gas to obtain steel is not entirely viable as it continues to pollute the atmosphere and contribute even more to global warming. That's why iron granules can be turned into steel using an electric arc furnace that can run on electricity generated by renewable energies and hydrogen. Gas that can be cleanly manufactured with renewable energy through a process in which the oxygen atoms of the ore will react with the hydrogen atoms generating steel and water instead of the oxygen atoms of the ore reacting with the carbon atoms resulting in steel and carbon dioxide.